and I guess I want to start off uh, with a history, with a discussion of history, quite frankly, that I've been in the criminal justice system for almost 30 years and didn't really know this. Uh, at least not some of the fine details. I mean, I, we all know, and I knew, we all know that our founders gave us an, a, a legislative branch to tell us what was against the law, an executive branch to enforce the law, and a judiciary to keep those two in harmony. But there are two powers that, that people never gave to government. The first was the power to uh, accuse someone of a crime, and the second was the power to find someone guilty of a crime. They, they reserved those powers to themselves through both the grand jury and the jury respectively. Now that system worked just fine. Uh, and I wanna focus not on the grand jury, uh, but mainly the jury at this point. The, the, the system worked just fine until the Civil War. And this is the part that I really didn't understand that when the Civil War came around and people, the na we had a nation at war with each other and you know, finding people to serve on jury, juries and having jury trials became less and less of a, of a priority. It kind of reminds me in a very minor way, what, you know, that we're going through life-changing times here and nothing like a civil war, obviously. But um, they introduced something in the, in the criminal justice system that most in, in those days viewed as a complete corruption. And it's something that they called the plea bargain. And uh, we're all very well aware of what the plea bargain is now because it started in the Civil War and, and by the time the United States Supreme Court finally uh, ruled in 1969 that plea bargains were, were legal, but by then they pretty much had to rule that way because we were plea bargaining 75% of our cases. Uh, and so plea bargains become legal and uh, if you fast forward the clock from 1969 to 2020, uh, where I find myself as the elected prosecutor in Utah County, uh, in Utah County and also in the state of Utah and also across this country, we, 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 we settle more than 99% of our cases by a plea bargain. Now, those who participate in the system will will be quick to point out that a plea bargain is far more efficient than a jury trial. But uh, what concerns me is, is the following. If you look just beyond, you know, just under the layer of what, of what that means, what it means is, is that 99 times out of 100, the elected prosecutor uh, never has to prove the allegations that he or she makes against a, against a fellow citizen because I can make an allegation. I don't have to prove the allegation. And I give, I give the person a plea bargain and, and it, it's over. What's also troubling is that 99 times out of 100, because we plea bargain our cases, our law enforcement officials never have to take the witness stand to testify. And, that, and, that's, and that's also troubling because it, you know, maintaining the process keeps everyone sharp and everyone uh, in a system that operates quite well.